through the gate. And they're off. So this is footage from Moose's first and only race. He's number one in the red saddle blanket on the inside. Um, you can see he breaks okay from the gate, but he pretty quickly falls to the back and spends most of his time off the screen. So I skip ahead to the end. The race actually has a photo finish here, uh, which is kind of exciting, but I think the more exciting part is now that's Moose. <laughs> After that race, Moose's racing connections decided he wasn't going to be competitive, so they sent him to new vocations, and I adopted him to be my horse for the thoroughbred makeover before he even made it onto the website. This is Moose arriving home in early December. He was really great. I had to walk him the whole way up my dark driveway, and he was so brave throughout, and then of course he gets to this gate and spooks at that but <laughs> after this he was totally fine he turned out pretty quietly that night with my boys now this is my first very short ride on moose i didn't want to ask for much i just kind of wanted to walk and try and see how he felt um he ended up being super lazy and kind of a kick ride um so he's super calm and i would have asked him to canter but i actually just didn't think i'd be able to get him to um so we just kind of walked trot and called it a day in between that first ride and now, I spend a fair bit of time teaching Moose to be a little bit more in front of my leg by asking for prompt walk to trot transitions, and that helped a lot with the canter. Uh, but he's still super lazy um, and a little unbalanced and weak as well, so he just can't hold it for very long. Um, and this is also where I start to find that tracking right, he really pushes into my right leg, so he's falling in and really struggling to bend to the right. So at this point for his training, I have traded out my crop for my little nubbin spurs. Uh, and I actually felt that made a really big difference in teaching him to move off of my leg like laterally. Um, so you can see in these clips that he starts to understand the contact. Um, tracking right, he's still a little bit, well, he's still pretty counterflexed, but um, he's getting a little bit straighter um, and there's some progress there. And then to the left, there's actually a lot of really nice moments. This is Moose hacking down my driveway with Cricket. In January, I tried to take advantage of having someone else to ride with in my ring and also out hacking. These clips of Moose tracking to the right, I wanted to include because moving off of the right leg was always such a struggle for him um, and getting that right bend. So I wanted to show a couple clips of what I did to try to correct it. Um, in addition to a lot of like lateral movement, teaching him to leg yield and turns on the forehand, uh, you can see here I brought him down from the trot and I asked him to bend right at the walk, which is just a bit easier for him. Um, then when I put him back up to the trot, he's still not doing the true bend that I'm looking for eventually, but he's still a lot straighter and he's not uh, counterflexed anymore. And now here's our right lead canner, uh, which is still a little falling in and unbalanced. Uh, there were just a lot of times in the early winter where I felt like, <laughs> Jesus take the reins, because we would like really careen around those corners. February came with quite a bit of snow and I tried my best to keep a 20 meter circle shoveled out for riding, um, but there's only so much you can do on a 20 meter circle that's only about two feet wide. Uh, so I spent a lot of time working on walk trot transitions and maintaining a steady contact. This is Moose's first trip away from home to visit my trainer at her barn. This trip was not as uneventful as these videos might lead you to believe. Moose came off the trailer pretty worried and I was going to just pop him in a stall while I took a lesson on my other horse cricket just to give Moose some time to settle in. Uh, but he was already really anxious and then the separation from cricket seemed like it was going to be too much for him. So I had my trainer ride cricket and hand walked Moose through the indoor, which was probably the only time I've ever really needed to use um, a chain shank to lead him, and he was still really dragging me around the indoor. So after that, I thought I might just try to lunge Moose and then call it a day, but he actually settled in really quickly on the lunge, so I decided to get on, um, and then his first ride off the property was actually pretty awesome. Um, so you could see Cricket, my other horse, hanging out in the ring with us, so he didn't take away his little security blanket. Uh, but once I actually got on his back, he was pretty great. Now we're back to my place, and there's still some snow on the ground, but I have a much bigger space to work with. 
and now his canner is starting to get a little bit stronger and a little bit more balanced. Um, even when we change directions and go to the right, which is still his weaker side, um, and he kind of still dives into the transition, um, you can still see some progress in the way his canner is going. Still don't quite have the bend that we're looking for. That'll be a few more months before we get there, um, but it's progress. We don't feel like we're going to fall. So Moose's problem falling in was also present on the lunge. Um, so he could Good lunge boy. fine to the left, but to the right, he would fall in really bad on the circle, then got off balance and then oh. speed up. And so he was coming in on me. It was a whole mess. Um, in March, we had a bunch of windy days where Moose was starting to feel a little excitable. Uh, I thought it would be nice to be able to pop him on the lunge instead of oh. hop on his back. So I ended up having to really break down lunging for him, really install my brakes, and teach him to stay out on the circle. Uh, so one of my proudest accomplishments was getting him to lunge without running in on me. So Moose continues to make steady progress under saddle, and at the same time, I'm also doing a lot of groundwork with him. Uh, I was not thrilled that I had to go to the chain shank for his first trip off property, uh, so I made sure I taught him some of the skills to settle down and relax and take a deep breath even when he's stressed out. Um, so we spent a lot of time in March doing just under saddle work to build his strength um, and groundwork to build his mental resolve. In April, I had some work done on my barn, so I boarded my horses with my trainer for the month, which gave me the opportunity to take lessons or have training rides for moose more frequently than normal. Uh, we also put hind shoes on moose, and even though his trot was never bad, you can actually see a real improvement in the quality of the gait here. We're also making steady progress on the right lead canter. The bend's still not quite there, but I'm really able to keep him from falling in in this ride. Um, I'm working very hard to do it, but we make progress. So it's May, we moved back home, and now we're trying to prepare for Moose's first dressage show. I take every opportunity I can in this month to have someone ride in the ring with me. Um, and we trailered out a couple of times just to try to get some experience in traffic to try to make sure Moose is going to be as prepared as he can be uh, for the warm up. This is Moose's first show at Windy Hollow in New Jersey. Somewhat opposite of our first outing, he was an absolute doll on the ground the entire weekend. Uh, but the day before our tests, I got on him to school in the show ring, and someone had replaced my perfect baby with a fire-breathing dragon. Uh, he wasn't naughty, he didn't buck or rear or bolt, but he was super strong, and you could tell he was just super stressed out. Despite my efforts to school him with other horses at home, he just never really got a chance to ride in a ring with more than two or three horses at a time, so the traffic in that ring the night before was a lot for him to take in. Uh, but by the end of the ride, I thought he had settled in, and so I made a plan to give him more time the next day for warm-up. Anyways, day two of the show rolled around, and my perfect lazy baby was back, unbeknownst to me. He was completely perfect in the warm-up traffic, he was not stressed at all by the other horses, um, and felt ready to go in the ring after like 20 minutes. But unfortunately, I got on him almost an hour before my ride, so by the time I went in the ring, I think he was pretty tired, hence some of the head tossing you would see. Um, it also wasn't always pretty, but he put in a clean test, did all the right moves in the right places, and once I got him in the ring, he was really great. Uh, these clips are from training one, and he also did training three and scored in the low 60s for both tests. Now we jump ahead to July, which wasn't a great month for either of us. Moose pulled the shoe, and then I got kicked in the knee, kind of back to back, so we lost some riding time. This is one of the worst rides I had on Moose. Um, he was being a little bit belligerent, pushing into my right leg, and I just really don't like the way I was riding him looking back on this because I had pulled back so much with my inside rein rather than kind of opening it up and giving him some place to bend. Um, just not maybe one of our happiest rides, but you can still see he's gotten a lot stronger, more balanced. So we've made it to August, just under nine months since the day I brought him home, and Moose is out at his third show. This is the first time I trailered Moose in for just the day of the show, and so he didn't get a chance to school in the ring the day before. This is his first time in, um, and due to the way that the ring is set up, he actually gets to warm up inside the ring for a bit. Uh, so I brought him past the judge, thinking he might spook at it, and of course, he did not care. <laughs> uh, so this test, I think, was training three 
Um, both of my tests this day, his right lead canner was a bit exuberant. The trot work is usually kind of a strong suit for him, but uh, my trot serpentines didn't go very well just because I didn't really practice any change of direction in my warm-up, um, and I also just kind of rode them pretty inaccurately. Um, and then here, the left lead canner, which is usually his better canner lead, he picks up the wrong lead at first, and then he changes it. So um, it actually was a like pretty decent test considering how many times um, I messed up. <laughs> he still scored in the low 60s, which I was happy with. Overall, this really wasn't my best riding on Moose, uh, but I still couldn't have been happier with how mature he was for his first day show. Moose and I are still aiming for the thoroughbred makeover in October, and I don't know that we'll be competitive in the dressage, but I do know that he feels really prepared, and I think we're going to go and have some fun.